So, yesterday and today has just been too nice not to get out on the bike, but you know what? I've just been busy, like crazy busy. And so, uh, I've just, I'm taking about a half hour today just to get out on it before the rain moves in or something stupid happens, uh, tempo wise. Um, it's the first weekend of June. I, Believe it or not, this has really been the only time I've had the ride because the weather just hasn't been cooperating. Every weekend it seems like it was either raining or like last weekend it was crazy hot and humid. I just couldn't, it was just too warm for me to, to be, for me to be out in the uh, elements as it were. Oh. So. I figured, well, today's in the low 70s, it's partly sunny, that's <laughs> a good day for it. Um, but I've been busy because I've had to get the house painted. No, I didn't paint it myself. Uh, I'll show you the color here, the before and after. Okay, well, apparently powder blue is not a good color, so... That's better. It's called the... Uh, Believe it or not, skinny jeans, that's the color. Go figure. So let's go figure. Mostly, uh, we, have, we, have, we brought somebody in to paint it. We, you know, we don't have the money to paint a house. Uh, it's amazing how expensive it is to do, but uh, the real estate company we're using to sell the house uh, knew a contractor that would um, actually um, do the house for a thousand down and then wait until we close on it to collect the rest. So that we could do. So that's what we did. Um, I have a couple of touch-up spots he missed, but otherwise he did a pretty good job. Um, and it worked because yesterday we got an offer on the house. They didn't even quibble about the price. They offered us exactly what we were asking. They're not looking for anything in closing. Bottom line is, is we're going to walk away with exactly what we asked for the house, which is, uh, I thought for sure we'd get some pushback on the price. I thought for sure that was going to be a sticking point. Uh, it turns out, no. Um, no, it's not a done deal yet, but we do have... Um, We do have to, uh, you know, go through home inspection and appraisal and all that. I think it'll be all right, though. Um, the fact that they're not looking for anything uh, extra, you know, like paying for us paying closing costs or anything like that. They didn't quibble on the price. Um, they were pre-approved for way more than the house was worth. And... Uh, um, Oh, that's a nice old Ford. I think that's a Ford. Um, and they they put a decent amount of earnest money down, so, uh, you know. I think it'll pass inspection, so I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, I've got uh, several houses lined up. We have two months. Uh, the buyer doesn't have um, um, a house to sell, so it sounds like they're renting. And I think they picked uh, August 1st because that's probably when their lease is up. And so. Oh, yeah. Today is graduation day. I forgot about that. A lot of cars coming out of the high school parking lot today. So... Uh... 
Um, so unless it fails inspection or for some reason doesn't appraise it, what we have it listed for, although I think it will, because we've never had anybody on all the, all the feedback that we've had, because we've had a lot of people walk through, but in all the feedback we've had, we've never had anybody complain about the price. Um, more often it was not what they were looking for, or the kitchen was too small, which it is, just for that size house, or the bathroom was too small, again, for that size house, it is. Um, so, that being the case, and, uh, you know, I think we'll be alright, I think price-wise we're okay, because I think we, out of all the feedback we got, I think we only had one person say, uh, it was too expensive, but they didn't elaborate, could have been too expensive for them, I don't, you know, I just don't know. So, at the end of the day, I just like, okay, yeah, it looks like they're gonna, they're gonna do it, so that's fine, that works for me. I have, oh, ten homes near work that I'm uh, on my list of houses to look at. I think one of them has a contract pending uh, from the time I uh, saw it the first time until today, so uh, it's been a few weeks, so yeah, it's not surprising. But that's, you know, that's on the list. That'll be the... Um, couple weeks I'm gonna have to look at all these houses settle on about three of them and then uh, after that it'll be getting my wife up there to look at them to make sure she agrees with that and she likes the house that sort of thing to be careful through here because it's a low speed limit. It's just kind of fun to rev through, you know. Um, but, no, uh, anyway. Oh, nice 57 convertible. Gee, many crickets. Other than that, thank you all for watching, and uh, have a great summer. Uh, you know, if I if I can put out more, I will. Um, more vlogs. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see how it goes. I do have another one coming up here, uh, the tractor, my Gilson. I kept the orange 75 one. I didn't get rid of that. I, I kind of like that baby. I just want to keep it. Even though on the new place, I probably won't need it, because... Um... Because, um, it, you know, it's going to be a smaller place, a smaller driveway, you know, yada, yada. But, um, so I, I'll just keep it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but, um, maybe just ride the grandkids around in it for a while. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so I got something coming up on that. Um, it'll just be a short video on that because I just want to show people something and get someone's opinion on it. I don't know. But. Okay, till next time. Adios.